Pop-up menus have been a wide necessity in a wide range of softwares, and Softimage is not the exception. Back in 2011, we had this X pop-up menus uh, add-on created so that we can also uh, harvest in the power that was to come into the next decade, like right now. Like everything that we do, it's just uh, through a pop-up menu. So we're going to read the instructions here. Literally, this is going to take you five minutes to install in case you're still using Softimage and that you would like to add your own custom shortcuts to create uh, primitives or create um, things inside Softimage with its own facility to add uh, custom scripts. Because as you know, we can just drag and drop scripts and then it will execute. So let's get to it. Download the add-on and then drag and drop it into the Softimage um, interface. Of course, in the script, um, window you're going to see that it's being copied and now let's get into the first step so what we want to do is go to the plugin manager let me adjust this and then go to um, new add on directory because we're going to create a new um, distributable uh, add-on in which case we're going to use the name example xpop add-on so just copy that and paste it on the directory name and it's been created now what we want to do is to assign um, a way to access that and you're going to right click on it and then uh, select plugin like so right click and then new command and what you want to do is to name first of all name your your uh, custom command for calling into this script and in our case we're going to use example xpop it will automatically fill the plugin name as well and the next thing that we're going to do is to choose uh, JScript and after that we're going to copy the code snippet that we find in the page right here you can check the link below to to get to the page so just copy this chunk of code and what we're going to do is to examine some of the parts because you can uh, literally just custom cut and paste um, code so that you can execute it through this through this plugin. So just to scroll down to where it says to do, put common implementation here. You know, just select it and control V to paste it. So let's just copy all of this. Copy. And now paste it over here. Fantastic. And then you can you know read this structure because it's actual readable language and you can use your own properties, your own colors, your own custom fonts, your own uh, custom commands, also your own custom icons, that's cool. And let's just finish this by saving this code. So just press right here, save, perfect. And now it's been implemented. Now the next thing we need to do is to bind it to a keyboard shortcut, to a custom keyboard shortcut. So for that, you're going to go here and now, uh, in this example, they, they uh, use Alt-T, which is an unbind keyboard mapping, but I'm going to use a new one, and therefore, uh, Softimage is going to ask me if I want to create a new set, a new custom keyboard set, and then I will, um, of course, reply yes, because we what we want to do is to use Shift-A in order for us to uh, call upon this um, custom pop-up menu. So here's the example, and then Softimage asks, would you like to create a new keyboard uh, set? And then I'll go, yes. Of course, name it. Name it, uh, for example, my Blender custom shortcut or my Blender custom keyboard, whatever you want. That's okay. And now go to custom, um, custom, where is it? Here we go, custom scripts command, and then select your name, example xpop drag and drop it while you press shift and then drop it into the A key. So well, that's it, that's basically it. So now if you're working on a project, what you can do is just shift A and start populating this custom um, menu. Like I said, you, you have different options to do that. And so you can read through to the description here in the page. It's really easy to implement them. Um, of course, I'm thinking to create a huge list but if you're working on a project and then you shift A, you can finally now add um, primitives. In this case, I'm going to just uh, change here the viewport, create a box, and now you finally have your friend, the cube.
from Blender. <laughs> well, actually, from any 3D software. Thank you very much.